use an indicator which gives me a color change between 4.5 and 5.5 for us for this specific reaction when we are doing the titration between a strong acid and a weak base then when we are doing weak acid and strong base then let's take this as 9 for example and this sorry 9 only not any point this will be 9.5 this will be 8.5 so now when I'm doing it between a strong base and a weak acid then I will use such an indicator that gives me a color change uh, between 8.5 and 9.5 because my equivalence point is between these values so I want a color change between these values so uh, when when my uh, so I will use an indicator which will give me a color change between these values so uh, you will be given questions where you will have pH curves and you will be given a list of indicators with that uh, with the ranges with the range over which they change color and you will choose the indicator depending on the range which corresponds with the with the equivalence range given in the graph in the pH curve that you have been given and then for a weak acid and a weak base again let's take this the equivalence point as 7 so this will be 6.5 and this will be 7.5 so I want a color change between 6.5 and 7.5 again so I can use the same indicator that I used for strong acid and strong base because the pH range over which I want a color change is the same so this is it for indicators and um, and pH curves so let's move forward buffer solutions so buffer solutions is something very new uh, that we have never never uh, learned about before so the definition of a buffer solution uh, you have to write it as it's written over here a solution that resists a change in its pH when small amounts of acids or bases are added which means it will uh, if you add as for example it will be a solution so if if it has a pH of 6 for example it will be such a um, solution that even if you add more acid uh, a, sm a small amount of acid the pH will still remain 6 and even if you add a small amount of base the pH will still remain 6 there will be no change in the pH because it's a solution that resists change in its pH so a buffer solution consists of a weak acid and its conjugate base or a weak base and its conjugate acid. So uh, what, what are conjugate acids and bases? Uh, as I said, for example, we have ethanoic acid. Uh, let me erase this. I have ethanoic acid. And uh, when I add it to water, let me write, okay, let me write it all over again because it's looking too untidy. So it is ethanoic acid. In aqueous phase, plus water, liquid state in a reversible reaction giving me ethanoid ions in aqueous state aqueous phase I'm sorry not state aqueous phase plus H, H3O plus which are hydronium ions in aqueous phase so this is my uh, this is when I dissolve some ethanoic acid in water now let's look at what and uh, we discussed what conjugate acids and bases are in the playlist I did on equilibria before, right before this playlist so you can go back to that playlist and uh, in the part where we are doing acid base equilibria you can see what conjugate acids and bases are for now I'll quickly write what the conjugate acids and bases are over here so it's acid and this is acting as a base because acids are proton donors bases are proton acceptors so in this case ethanoic acid acts as an acid because it donates a proton and H2O acts as a base because it accepts the proton that has been donated by the ethanoic acid so as ethanoic acid donates a proton it forms ethanoate ions and as water molecules accept a proton they form hydronium ions 
So this becomes a conjugate base because when the reverse reaction, when the back reaction takes place,